This is the story of a cat in a flower bowl. Before you panic, she's not about to be baked, regardless of what you may have seen on YouTube. She was just unfortunate enough to have fallen into a rat trap and covered herself in glue. And her owner, Typey, is safely removing the glue by giving her a rice bran flower bath. <laughs> I've already made a video explaining this specific story before, but there's so much more of this story that needs to be told. This little cat's name is Den, or as Taipei lovingly calls her, Den Chan. She was abandoned as a kitten. <laughs> Taipei was originally a Japanese fisherman who posted his catches on his channel named Taipei Nikki which translated means Taipei's diary. He would have continued making his fishing videos had he not stumbled on an abandoned kitten one night in 2019. <laughs> This kitten had an infection swelling her eyes. This is probably the reason why her mother abandoned her. After Taipei waited 30 minutes to see if the mother would return, he decided to take the kitten with him to the vet to treat the eye infection. After this, he took the cat in and fed her all the delicious fish a fisherman could find. This cat would eventually be named Rin Chan, and Taipei still takes care of her today. Taipei loves animals. He and his family have many pets. When he sees an animal suffering, he can't look the other way. One day, he found an abandoned kitten that had been covered in glue from a rat trap. He then wanted to adopt the kitten and take care of her. So, he went to the vet to see how to safely remove the rat glue. The vet advised to give the little kitten a kinako, or rice bran bath, because it was safer than shaving the cat's fur off. So he did this. <laughs> to his surprise, the video caught a lot of attention outside of his Japanese audience, and the English speakers couldn't understand what this strange Japanese man was doing to the cat. People started to complain and bring hate to Taipei, because as far as they knew, he was hurting this poor innocent cat. Eventually, people who understood both languages left comments to explain the situation and give proper context to the people. Once this little fiasco ended, things seemed to calm down for Taipei. Little did he know, that cat thumbnail would become a little meme that resurfaced on the internet a few years later. Dan Chan was growing well. Her fur was finally clean from the rat glue and she became truly part of Taipei's family. Unfortunately, she would pass away, only a few months after Taipei took her in. The cause of death is unclear. Taipei made sure to feed her good food and it wasn't his fault, but the tragedy left its impact on him. He refrained from posting videos that contained Dan Chan for a while, to give him time to sort his emotions. Eventually, he would adopt two new cats from the animal shelter, a boy and a girl, to try to fill the big gap left by Den Chan. He named the white cat Pon Chan. The little boy looked very similar to Den Chan. Meanwhile, he adopted the little black kitten because of how frail she looked, and because the shelter was considering euthanasia if they couldn't find a home for her. 
、うん、普段言わないですね。へえ。結構甘えん坊でこの子。あ、本当だ。<笑>ルイちゃん、友達。ルイちゃん、また友達来た。ルイちゃん、また友達来た。ルイちゃん、また友達来たね。ルイちゃん、ルイちゃん。ルイちゃん、また友達来たね。A hurdle Taipei had to pass to adopt both cats were the government restrictions on the number of pets a single owner was allowed to have. If he adopted the black cat and the white cat, then he would have four pets, but the limit is three per owner. Taipei attempted to get his parents to take care of the black cat, but they were stretched thin with their own pets, so he instead had to ask for permission. もうぐるぐる言ってるんだけど聞こえるかなすごいね脱力してるりんちゃんに次ぐ脱力感だよすごいよかったねありんちゃんが切れたぞりんちゃんが怒ったなんか知らんけどやっぱやっぱ最初はあの遠くから合わせた方がいいんだね。ああ、怒ってる。あの、黒がシャーって言うから、りんちゃんに。After the request, he was cautious on naming the black cat because he didn't know whether he would be the one to adopt her, so he waited. Eventually, the government approved, and Taipei was able to adopt more than three animals. Although they couldn't fill the hole left by Denshan, they had the chance to experience the love Taipei had for them. These are just some of the many stories Taipei has in his little video diary. If you want to see more, go subscribe to Taipei. Although there's a small language barrier, the funny animal hijinks more than make up for it. I was fortunate enough to hop onto this little rabbit hole from a silly meme on the internet that came from a misunderstanding, and I hope I got to drag some of you along with me. If you like this video, please subscribe. I know it's kind of cringe of me asking you this because this is not really the type of content that I make. But I do enjoy going down these little rabbit holes of the internet, and I hope you do too. Okay, bye.